Hi everybody and welcome to another edition of How to Survive the Upcoming Zombie Apocalypse with me, Kenny B. As you can see I got a new toy. Uh, my girlfriend got me this kind of as a late Christmas present. It is a PS90 personal support weapon. Uh, unfortunately at the moment it is missing the infrared laser and matching scope. But that's on back order unfortunately. So still waiting on that. And today I'm going to give you a quick class on it. Give you the pluses, the minuses, and my opinion on where its place is as a survival weapon when the zombies come. First off, this is a nice compact weapon. It's actually designed for support personnel, vehicle crews, artillery personnel, rents, and also for people like combat camera that follow me around when I'm doing my job. It's, like I said, a nice compact weapon right in your shoulder and you can easily just headshot, 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 headshot. Now I know you've seen people on Modern Warfare 2 and 3 running around with two of these doing the John Woo. I don't advise that because one, you're just going to waste a hell of a lot of fucking ammo. Two, yeah, while you might hit some things, more than likely I said, you're not going to get very good shot placement. Like I said, the way it is right now, it's just perfect ergonomics. Just sits right in the shoulder. You just aim for the head. Boom, 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 boom. Not a problem. The round itself, 5.7 millimeter. It's a high velocity round. Comes in a number of different flavors. Depleted uranium core penetrator. Magnesium sunburst, reactive mass, and your standard hollow point. Now, most of those rounds, as a civilian, you can't get because when this came to the United States, the ATF decided it was just a little too much and they neutered it. So, all those rounds that I just mentioned, for the most part, you need some connections with the right people to get. Now, as I said, the way it's designed, because it's nice and compact, it's perfect for house clearing. I can just move in, and because it's nice and tight, doesn't protrude too far, I can easily just swing around, and easily engage targets inside building, accurately. As I said, it's you know, perfect for close quarters. Because it doesn't protrude out like a carbine, People can't grab it. It's a bullpup design, and as I said, it's not a bad weapon overall. Now for the drawbacks. As I stated, for you civilians, you can't get the superior version of the cartridges available for this particular weapon. You're stuck with just the standard 5.7 millimeter jacketed uh, rounds. They don't really do much damage against zombies, so for paper punching it's fine. Also, because it is a 5.7mm round, it's kind of unique. Ammunition for this puppy is not going to be that common. I know my girlfriend bought it for me, it's very nice of her. But this is not something I'm going to take with me when the zombies come. I'll use it for other things, but for the most part, I'll just keep it back at the base of operations. Maybe take it out occasionally to the range or wherever. Another problem with it is where the ammunition brass dumps. Dumps out of this base, which you got to be mindful. You're moving forward where the brass goes. If you're not careful, you're going to slip, trip, uh, Possibly injure one of your co-workers, because they're going to be uh, stacked behind you. If you're first man in and you're firing, those brass are going to directly drop down below you. So, you got to keep your mind on where your co-workers are. And as for, it's, as I said, value in the zombie apocalypse, it's nice in some ways, as I said, because you get a matching pistol, the FN5 and 7, 
I believe it has a 20 to 30 round magazine for the pistol because of the size of the round. But the, off pro the offset of the problem, well the offset of the actual purpose of this weapon, is the fact that if you do buy both, yeah it's great you got a matching set, but it's going to be harder to get rounds for this. So, my humble opinion, keep the, you know, you want to buy one for a ranged toy, more power to you. But when it comes to the zombie apocalypse, I suggest going with the M4 carbine. The M4 carbine is a lot more durable. Parts will be around, which is another problem with this. Replacement parts are going to be a lot harder to find because these we weapons are not common at all. My M4, as I said, there's plenty of parts available. Also, another problem with this, I should have just mentioned, the range, even with the uh, high velocity rounds like the uranium, uh, complete uranium core penetrator, you're still talking about effectively targeting out to 100 meters. After that, the round kind of locks a lot of stopping power. So you're just basically wasting rounds once more. This is really, like I said, designed for close quarters combat or for a vehicle crew's last ditch defense. So when it comes to using this in the zombie apocalypse, I give this a grade C plus. Like I said ergonomics, beautiful. Once again, bullpup, easy to maneuver. 50 round magazines, which are also nice. But the drawbacks really outweigh its usefulness in the end times. That being said, it's me, Kenny B, signing off.